I'm Rhoda Campbell and I live and own Inishtola, which is a country house. We have a bed and breakfast in our stable wing and we have an equestrian centre and a chocolatery, which is where I, as a chocolatier, make chocolates and teach people how to make chocolates. I have a very diverse range of responsibilities, starting off from creating the environment that I live in and making it welcoming for guests, in marketing and promoting that environment so I have customers, and it looking after them from the minute they click onto my website, to they make a booking on the phone, to they arrive, the whole time they're here until they leave. It's my job to look after them. I welcome people from Germany, Australia, New Zealand, America. They come and they just be part of my little world, but they're from every corner of the world. And that is such a reward. I went to university to study economics, but I paid my way through university within the hospitality industry in the city of Edinburgh in Scotland. So I started off pulling pints in my local bar and I learned that there was a lot to perfecting whatever you is you're doing. And that's how you climb up in the, within the organisation you're working in. I then went to work in restaurants where I learned how to serve, handle cash, um, and uh, started learning about wine. Then I went to working in hotels, where I was in banqueting and silver service. And I learned about being invisible during a wedding, but managed to serve people properly. And in hotels, receiving guests. And I brought all my experiences through university of serving people, looking after people and training with people, brought it all together to start my own business. There's very, very different roles in hospitality. There's behind the scenes, back up, and there's very much front of house. I'm front of house. I love meeting people and that's my favorite thing about the industry. Some people choose a career in the sector. I think that the sector chose me. I am very much a people person, and so I naturally became good at what I do. And what I do is just being friendly to people and looking after their needs. Now, if I can make money doing that, then for me, it is a career. My best achievement to date, it's very simplistic, but I've had return customers. They came here to Northern Ireland for a specific reason, maybe the Northwest 200, or they're doing a tour of Ireland, but they came back again, they booked with me, they did part of my chocolatiering course, they were part of the stables, and for me, that is such an achievement that they want to be part of this place. Good morning, Inishtola. The personal qualities you require for this role is you have to be a personable person. You have to listen. You have to be able to conduct yourself in a good mannerisms and presentable and articulate. And more than anything, you just have to be able to relate to people. And you also do chocolate courses. So. I'm a very organised person and I think that anybody coming into the industry will go far if they're a particularly organised person. People think that within the hospitality industry, it's low pay, it's long hours. I work very short hours. My staff work very short hours. We work hard, we work focused, and we make good money. to give some advice to someone considering a career in the hospitality industry, I would say be prepared to start from the bottom. Be enthusiastic about starting from the bottom because every single piece of advice, piece of training, piece of experience will help you get to the top. It's in the sector that you can raise to the top very quickly with just your personable skills. You don't have to have a degree in economics. You just have to be willing to learn your craft 